Day of Divorce Rage of the Elements Natural Event The law lets world events take their course as it has been determined since eternity, for people themselves desire their downfall since they also bring about their separation from God themselves, for they have already surrendered him in their hearts and therefore do not hesitate to also deny him outwardly. And therefore the day of separation must come. The day when the righteous will be separated from the unrighteous and each one will find the well-deserved reward. Mankind does not believe until the judgment will overtake it, sin takes over and man no longer respects his neighbor's property, he falls into sin and vice and therefore has to expect a speedy end if he does not decide to repent. And the end will come think they are on top of their lives when the end comes. They will still try to gain everything beautiful from the world, they will indulge in life's pleasures, indulge in their desires, consider themselves lords of creation and think of no higher power and be torn from the midst of the highest enjoyment of life by this power which will put an end to them when they are no longer remembered. The world's frenzy will be so great that they will not heed the admonition from above, which will still reach them in the last hour through God's grace and mercy. They will mock what points upwards and put in chains whoever pulls against them through the word. And then the spiritual and earthly decay will begin, and no one will be able to save himself without divine help. And the adversity will be great the forces of nature will have a devastating effect, the earth will burst, the waters will roar, the mountains will move and valleys will be buried, fertile land will turn into desert, and nothing on earth will be spared or offer protection to those who want to escape the judgment. And such violence will the elements unleash that everything will be destroyed that human hands have brought into being and that boundless misery will reign where there was previously earthly power and glory. Everyone will be small and powerless in the face of this raging of nature, and the Lord will be heard with a voice of thunder in this roaring that fills the whole earth. And only he will be saved whose heart sends a heartfelt sight to the Heavenly Father. But the Lord pays as little attention to the hardened sinner as he did to him and lets him perish so that the earth will only serve as a place of residence for the human being who recognizes a God in heaven and wants to serve him. But anyone who prays to the Father in greatest adversity will find grace before his eyes and likewise be miraculously rescued from all adversity. And blessed are those who carry the Lord in their hearts and look forward to. The Lord will lovingly assist them so that they will not lose faith in him in greatest adversity but remain strong and fearlessly and trustingly abandon themselves to the Father in heaven. He will lead them out of all adversity. Amen.